The 1970s. There were many political issues in occurrence during the 1970s. Nixon became president at the end of the Vietnam War. His accomplishments, accomplishments while in office included revenue sharing and the end of the draft, new anti-crime laws, and an environmental program. He appointed conservative justices to the Supreme Court, and one of the most dramatic events of his first term occurred in 1969 when American astronauts made the first moon landing. So what was the Watergate scandal all about? During the 1972 campaign, the Watergate scandal stemmed from a break-in in the offices of the Democratic National Committee. The break-in was traced to officials of the committee to re-elect the president. Nixon denied any personal involvement, but the courts forced him to yield tape recordings, which indicated that he had tried to divert the investigation. So what happened to Nixon afterwards? Nixon faced impeachment and announced that he would resign the next day. In the aftermath of the Watergate scandal, Ford was succeeding the first president ever to resign. What did Ford have to deal with? Ford faced the challenges of mastering inflation, reviving the depressed economy, solving chronic energy shortages, and trying to ensure world peace. His first goal was to curb inflation. Then, when the recession became the president's most serious domestic problem, he shifted the measures aimed at stimulating the economy. What was happening to the economy? There was an energy shortage because of a worldwide oil shortage. Nations around the world started to conserve their non-renewable oil supplies. This would bring the U.S. gas prices to go from 35 cents a gallon in the beginning of 1970 to around 90 cents near the end of the 70s. The inflation was terrible. There was a mix of high demand and a low supply of things such as jobs, houses, and cars. The high unemployment was a result of the women workforce and returning soldiers from Vietnam. Carter became president in 1977. His achievements were notable, but in an era of rising energy costs, mounting inflation, and continuing tensions, it was impossible for his administration to meet these high expectations. He sought to improve the environment. His expansion of the national park system included protection of 103 million acres of Alaskan lands. To increase human and social services, Carter created the Department of Education, bolstered the social security system, and appointed record numbers of women, black, and Hispanic people to government jobs. So what was so different about the 70s from other decades? The culture of the 1970s was the beginning of many things. Mood rings, Star Wars figures, Rubik's Cube, Fruit Stripe Gum, Sea Monkeys, and Pet Rocks are only a few of the trendy fads of the 70s. The hippies of the 60s greatly influenced the fashion of the 70s. Bell bottoms and platform shoes were in style. Denim and corduroy were the fabrics of choice. With the increasing popularity of the television, popular TV shows included Happy Days, The Brady Bunch, and Saturday Night Live. The 70s was also the comeback decade of the movie. Popular movies included Star Wars, Rocky, The Godfather, and Jaws. Many influential musicians died, such as Elvis Presley, Jimi Hendrix, Janis Joplin, and Jim Morrison. It was also the time of the breakup of the one of, of the most successful bands in music history, the Beatles. Disco dancing became popular. Top names in the industry were Aerosmith, the Bee Gees, Elton John, Bruce Springsteen, and Bob Marley. Many inventions came from the 70s. The floppy disk first appeared in 1970, and the next year, Intel produced the microprocessor. Atari produced the first video games. The VCR was introduced, and it would change home entertainment forever. Also, jumbo jets revolutionized flying. The end.